Lesson 18. 18th lesson. The future tense. In the sentences, you will hear about Mrs. Priestley. She will tell you about her house. I will gladly tell you about it. You will hear more about it in book 2. You have examples of the future tense. Here are some more examples. Richard Brown will be 14 years old tomorrow. He will be up early tomorrow morning. His father will give him a new bicycle for his birthday. His sister Mary said to him, You will be 14 tomorrow, I shall be 10 next June. To make the future tense, we use will with the infinitive of the verb, e.g. You will hear infinitive about Mrs. Priestley. She will tell infinitive you about her house. Richard will be infinitive 10 next June. But with the one street person, I, we, we sometimes use shall and sometimes will. This is not a full explanation. It is only a small part of the subject. The future tense is explained more fully in Essential English Book 2. In conversation will and shall are often shortened to LL, e.g. you'll hear about Mrs. Priestley's house. He'll be up early tomorrow morning. Richard'll be 14 tomorrow. I'll be 10 next June. The negative of the future tense is formed by adding not, e.g. Mrs. Priestley will not tell you about her house. Richard will not be 14 until tomorrow. His father will not give him a bicycle. I shall not be 10 until June. Will not is generally shortened in conversation to won't, e.g. She won't tell you about her house. Richard won't be 14 until tomorrow. His father won't give him a bicycle. He will. Affirmative. He will not. Negative. The interrogative of the future tense is formed by putting the verb will or shall before the subject, e.g. will Mrs. Priestley tell us about her house? Will you please tell us about your house? Will Richard be 14 tomorrow? Shall I help you with your work? We do not often use will I or will we or sisley, shall I or shall we, Mrs. Priestley? You say the students want to hear about my house, Mr. Eckersley. Shall I tell them about it now? He will. He will. Will he? Making the interrogative. Sometimes we express a future meaning by using the present continuous tense often with a word or phrase like tomorrow, next week, etc. That gives the future meaning, e.g. I am going to London tomorrow. Henry is playing football on Tuesday. Mary is coming here next week. We are going to Paris next year. Word study Many words in English are both nouns and verbs. Here are some in lessons 1 to 18 with examples to show their use. Answer, verb, I can answer that question. Noun, give the answer to the question. Number, verb, please number the pictures in the book. Noun, put a number under the pictures. Hammer, verb, hammer the nails in well. Noun, use the big hammer for those nails. Nail, verb, nail the picture on the wall. Noun, use small nails to do it. Name, verb, can you name all the things in the picture? Noun, what is your name? Stay, verb, the people are staying at the Devon Hotel. Noun, we are not making a long stay there. Drink, verb, we drink tea from teacups. Noun, I am going to have a drink with George. Smoke, verb, some of the men are smoking cigarettes. Noun, look at the smoke from the engine. Sleep, verb, the dog is sleeping under the table. Noun, the dog is having a sleep under the table. Shade, verb, the canvas shades the people from the sun. Noun, the canvas gives shade from the sun. Dress, verb, the lady dresses very well. Noun, she is wearing a white dress. 
Swim, verb, one of the boys is swimming to the rock. Noun, come and have a swim in the sea. Cook, verb, Lizzie cooks the meals. Noun, she is a good cook. Bathe, verb, we bathe at the seaside. Noun, he goes for a bathe in the sea. Bath, verb, the mother baths the baby every day. Noun, you can see the baby's bath in the picture. P. 4. Walk, verb, one of the girls is walking to the sea. Noun, come for a walk in the fields. Climb, verb, the man is climbing the mountain. Noun, it is a difficult climb to the top of the mountain. Step, verb, you can step out of the motor car now. Noun, the boy is walking down the steps. Work, verb, the man works in the field. Noun, this work is bad. Use, verb, you can use all these words now. Noun, can you understand the use of these words now? Related words. Pleased, pleasant. I am pleased to be here. This is very pleasant work. Man, manly. He is not a man yet, but he speaks in a manly way. Proud, pride. Mr. Priestley is proud of his son. He looks at him with pride. Gay, gaiety. Margaret is gay and happy. Mr. Priestley loves her gaiety. Gold, golden. My watch is made of gold. It is a gold watch. Her hair is golden, like golden corn. The adjective gold equals made of gold. Golden equals looking like gold. Dinner, dine, dining room. We dine at 7 o'clock. We have dinner then in the dining room. Every, everyone, everybody, everything, everywhere, every day. Good morning, everybody, everyone. Everything in the house is clean and good. He never goes by train, he goes everywhere by aeroplane. These phrases are used in everyday conversation. The two words have the same meaning and use. Every, everyone, everybody, everything are always singular. E.g. everybody is working well, not everybody are. Nobody, no one, nothing, nowhere, none. There is nobody, no one, here. He does nothing all day long except eat and sleep. They want a house, they have nowhere to live. None of the students will be in the class tomorrow. Somebody, someone, something, somewhere. Somebody is coming to see the house today. She will tell us something about her work. They can come to our house. That will be somewhere for there to live. Anybody, anyone asterisk, anything, anywhere. Is anybody coming to see the house today? She will not tell us anything about the work. These people haven't anywhere to live. The two words have the same meaning and use. Note, we generally use some, something, somewhere, etc. in affirmative sentences. We use any, anything, anywhere, etc. in interrogative and negative sentences, e.g. Affirmative, interrogative, negative. She wants some new dresses. Does she want any new dresses? She doesn't want any new dresses. There are some books on the table. Are there any books on the table? There aren't any books on the table. He sees somebody in the room. Does he see anybody in the room? He doesn't see anybody in the room. There is something interesting in the newspaper today. Is there anything interesting in the newspaper today? There isn't anything interesting in the newspaper today. He is going somewhere today. Is he going anywhere today? He isn't going anywhere today. kind. Notice the two meanings of kind. 1. Adjective. She is kind and gentle. 2. Noun. Margaret is not fond of study of any kind. What kind of dress is she wearing? Greetings. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Exercises 1. Write out these sentences putting the verb in brackets into the future tense 1. 
I to write my lessons in my new book. 2. They to tell us about their work. 3. John to see his friend at the cinema. 4. Lizzie to cook the breakfast for us. 5. Mr. Priestley to be in the dining room at 8 o'clock. 2. Make these sentences A. Interrogative B. Negative 1. He will tell us about his work. 2. They will climb the mountain today. 3. The sheep will be in the field with the pigs. 4. You will see me again tomorrow. 5. Lizzie will give the cat its dinner today. 6. I shall see you on Friday. Three, make sentences using these words a as a noun, b as a verb, one, smoke, two, work, three, answer, four, drink, five, booter, six, sleep, seven, dress, eight, name, nine, swim, ten, walk, eleven, hammer, twelve, use. Four. Use each of these in a sentence. One. Everyone. Two. Everything. Three. Everywhere. Four. First class. Five. Of course. Six. Fond of. Seven. On the other hand. Eight. Kind adjective. Nine. Kind noun. Ten. Gaiety. Eleven. Pleasant. Twelve. Gold. Thirteen. Golden. Fourteen. Proud, 15, pride, 16, dinner, 17, dining room. 5. Make these sentences interrogative. 1. He wants some eggs. 2. There are some stars in the sky. 3. She has some flowers for the table. 4. There was something interesting in the paper yesterday. 5. He is doing something today. 6. Somebody is coming to see the house today. 7. She will tell us something about her work. 8. These people have somewhere to live. 9. There is somebody in the room. 10. The shopkeeper has some eggs. 